First of all, introducing in the corner to my right from Pigeon Forge, Kentucky, weighing in at 285 pounds, Cousin Junior. His opponent this evening from Kansas City, weighing in at 252 pounds, the Central State Champion, Bulldog Bob Brown. <laughs> Referee Dave Goble, let's go to ringside. Bulldog Bob Brown, the Central State's Champion, in there with a very unique individual, as you can see right now, Cousin Junior. You know, Mick, Cousin Junior calls his style of wrestling scuffling. And you call it what you will, but this man is successful. He's popular. And he's in there against Bulldog Bob Brown. Cousin Junior has headlined Madison Square Garden. He's headlined arenas all over the world. And look at this. He's on his hands and he's barking at the Bulldog who has backed into the turnbuckle right above our microphone. A little befuddled by all this. <laughs> he looks like a mailman escaping a pit bull right now. You never underestimate Bulldog Bob Brown. Cousin Junior showing us a little bit of his... Uh, How do you do? Pigeon Fork, Kentucky. Where is Pigeon Fork, Kentucky? Well, actually, it's Pigeon Forge. And whether it's Forge or Fork, your guess is as good as mine. Mr. Brown in for the ride. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And, of course, uh, Mr. Bulldog Bob Brown, his only concern here is to stay healthy because uh, he has some scores to settle with King Kong Brody in the month of August, the 27th of August, to be exact. We've just been told by Bulldog Bob Brown not to talk about King Kong Bruiser Brody, who he will meet here August 27th at the Winnipeg Arena. I don't blame him for not wanting to talk about King Kong Brody. It could be the longest night of his life. Well, they've waged battles all over the United States, and now they're bringing it into Canada, and they just plain don't like each other. That's putting it mildly. And, of course, Bruiser Brody, he's going to be watching what uh, Cousin Junior can do here. Would you say that's frustration on the part of Bulldog Bob Brown? Apparently, he's decided that the ringside floor is better, ter better turf, better territory than the middle of the ring. Cousin Junior, we got a little hoedown here, I think. Right on the head of Bulldog Bob Brown. Bulldog Bob Brown, the Central States Heavyweight Champion. The kids love Cousin Junior. The adults love Cousin Junior. He is one popular figure. I, I kind of laugh at his attire. Got that hanky or whatever it is hanging out of his back pocket. I certainly hope he has a closet full of those overalls, George, and that that isn't the only pair that he owns. Mr. Brown is not very well in the test of strength. Barefoot or not, I think you just heard about 10 knuckles pop. And there's a little, well, whatever you want to call it, a little greeting for Mr. Brown. After that stomp on the fingers by Cousin Junior, uh, Bulldog may be drinking through a straw. Wait a minute, there's a, there's a choke hold. The referee can't see it, but we can right above our microphone. The Bulldog doing what a veteran does, shielding it from the referee. And Cousin Junior is turning beet red. That is a blatant chokehold. I he's, believe the referee is, he has caught it. He's calling for the break. This is the Bulldog Bob Brown that uh, we've all come to know and love. Yeah, right. Out Kicking the, ring, the man in the head. Out of the ring and in trouble. Oh, he's Cousin coming Junior. out right above us uh -oh, here. Uh-oh, right above us. Right by our microphone. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait a minute. Oh, onto the ring apron. Right alongside of us here. Bulldog Bob Brown with a boot oh. to the midsection of Cousin Junior. Continuing to work on Cousin Junior. Hammering away on the outside of the ring. 
referee tells the Bulldog, get back in the ring. Keep the action in the squared circle. Cousin Junior, right behind our microphone now. He took a pounding out here on the arena floor. I have the feeling, though, uh, Cousin Junior is going to become a little irritated, and you're going to see that hillbilly temper. Uh -oh. oh, oh, oh. That was in the throat. That was a karate shot. No question about that. The referee didn't see it. Had he seen it, Mr. Brown would be taking an early shower. Those are just some of the tactics that uh, King Kong Brody has to look out for. Hey, I, oh, oh, wait oh, a minute, oh, wait I think. A minute. I thought I saw something in his, in his hands. He does. It appears he has some sort of an object on his fist. He's got his hand alongside his body. The referee hasn't seen it yet, but Cousin Junior went down like he was hit by a boulder as Bulldog Bob Brown, methodical, taking his time, apparently figuring that he has Cousin Junior ready to be had. He's going to use it again, it appears. Oh, man. Turns the referee around there he goes. again. Hiding him in his trunks. The referee now checking the fist. Well, the referee didn't see anything because the crafty, wily bulldog Bob Brown has that object well hidden as he continues to work on Cousin Junior with a boot to the head. Those are some of the tactics that King Kong Brody has to look out for, but uh, we need not remind you that Brody is no angel or saint in that ring. Look at the punishment being inflicted by bulldog Bob Brown on Cousin Junior. And the favorite from Pigeon Forge is in deep, deep trouble as the Bulldog stomps on the fingers. Now he's biting him. He's biting him on the forehead. Boy, you talk about a Bulldog, a pit bull, a caged animal. That's what you have when Bulldog Bob Brown, the Central States champion, is in that ring. Oh, man. Kicking him right over the ropes, right out of the ring onto the floor. And Bulldog Bob Brown going out. Onto the apron, oh, no. what is he doing? Oh, He's got the staircase. Oh. The man picked up the staircase, the ring stairs, and pounded Cousin Junior to the back. You know, George, I've seen Cousin Junior in action for a couple of years now. This is probably the worst beating I think I've ever seen him take. He's out here on the floor and getting up very slowly. But then uh, you'd expect that after being introduced to a set of steps. The count is on there for Cousin Junior, the fans encouraging him. And I, Cousin Junior, here he comes. Look at this, Mick. He was met by Bulldog oh. Bob Brown as he came under the, the ring ropes. Oh, oh! Look at the expression on the face of Cousin Junior. He is furious in that ring right now. And the Bulldog. Oh, come on. He's telling the referee to watch the fist. Cousin Junior unloading right now. Here we go. He's got the Bulldog rocking and reeling right now all the way across the ring into that turnbuckle. The ring moved two feet on that one. Those heavy chops across the chest and the Bulldog is in deep trouble. Cousin Junior ready for the kill. I think getting hit with those steps was about the last straw there for uh, Cousin Junior. Little merry-go-round here. Oh, no. Oh, right into the, the referee. referee. He was leveled. I, I, look at, look at uh, Bulldog Brown here, Mick. Again, over the top rope now. Right over the top onto the floor, and he's on top of the referee on the floor. He's got the breast knuckles again. You saw he tucked them right into his trunks. The referee is still out. He's still dazed on the floor. He took a heavy shot from both men. Bulldog Brown down for a nap here. Oh, no. There's that big splash for crying out loud. Here comes, here comes another referee. This is the second referee. And a count of three. That's it. The second referee came into the ring and counted the pin. The first official knocked out on the floor. Wait a minute. What's going on here now? Oh, no, wait a minute. What in the world is going on here? We'll try and get the official decision. 
it appears the referee says that uh, Cousin Junior it's being explained to the ring announcer right now your guess is as good as ours it appears that Cousin Junior was disqualified for throwing Bulldog Bob Brown over the top rope let's find out if that's actually what took place Your winner, wrestling fans, Bulldog Bob Brown by disqualification. Time in that match, 12 minutes. Cousin Junior disqualified for throwing Bulldog over the top rope. Right here's your dead winner. Yeah!